How much Thanks was this me. of the U.S. agency and keeping the door wide open when it comes to China or, or cybersecurity, rather? I'm not sure if it's the U.S. keeping the door wide open, but what it does show is that uh, these are issues that are happening every day, happening to governments, happening to, to businesses. Uh, it's a combination that's quite complex. Uh, it involves having legacy systems. Uh, it involves having a massive shortage in, in skilled resources to deal with these types of issues. And it's something that we have to be uh, aware of. It's an everyday issue. What does it mean for you and me? Uh, what it means is that we need to be uh, aware of uh, our information, uh, where it is at all times, who has access to it, and what it means if it's actually uh, lost. Uh, as we start to use more and more technology and we put more information uh, on the internet and into the cloud, uh, we need to expect that these things do happen. Uh, and it's, it's our personal responsibility to uh, make sure that we, we know what could be lost and what it means to us. And it's, uh, it's important for, for governments and businesses to also understand the issue and make sure that they protect sensitive information. How do you, though, uh, keep, as an individual, keep it from uh, getting leaked out there? And as a company, how do you prevent these cyber hacks? Well, as an individual, uh, I'm pretty uh, aware and sensitive of, of what information I put out there on the internet. Uh, obviously, some information you're going to have to put out there um, to do your job, to, to interact online. Uh, but you need to be uh, need to be pretty careful about uh, what gets out there, what gets what you say online. As an example, uh, as a business, uh, you have an obligation to protect your your intellectual property and uh, the privacy of your employees and your customers. Uh, so that means you ha need to have necessary technology in place to make sure that uh, people can't compromise and penetrate your network. Uh, you need to have the right tools and people in place to, to make sure that you know how to recover. And I think that's one that uh, is not uh, talked about enough uh, because these issues do happen and it's taking way too long for organisations to realise they have been compromised and then it's taking them way too long to recover uh, post-breach. Well, yeah, Mike, to your point, let's just assume that at any point uh, in our lifetime or many points that we are going to get compromised here. How do you recover from that? Depends on whether it's a, it's a compromise that uh, a government suffers or whether a, a large business, a bank as an example, or an individual uh, suffers. The first thing is knowing that it's actually happened. Uh, and from a government and from an enterprise perspective, this is one of the big challenges that we're faced with uh, today. And you see reports of organisations that have been compromised for three, four, five years at a time. And then it takes them six to 12 months to, to try to work out uh, what's actually happened. Uh, I think it's really important that whilst as an industry, as, as security professionals, we tend to focus on uh, prevention technologies to keep the bad guy out, we also need to assume that the bad guy is actually in the network. And when they are in the network, how do we discover that they're there? What damage have they caused? And then how do we undo that, that damage? Uh, and that's, a, that's an important part that I think we, we, we today need to spend more time focusing on that. Uh, as an individual, there, there's obviously uh, channels that you can use to make sure that your, your, your credit history has not been impacted. Uh, but it's a challenge. When you are compromised, recovery is a very difficult thing to do. Mike, of the uh, top companies in the world, uh, are they protected enough at the level that you say needs to happen? Well, I think uh, uh, the banking and finance industry uh, tend to do a, a great job in this space. Uh, they spend a lot of time not only on technology but teaching their people uh, to understand this, this challenge and teaching their, pe uh, their people to be experts. Um, governments around the world, uh, there's a lot of speculation as to whether governments are doing enough and you could argue they are or they're not uh, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, but I think conversations that are happening around the world uh, trying to, to wrap uh, governments and businesses, trying to wrap their arms around what's actually happening is a good debate. Uh, I think uh, having meaningful conversations trying to determine uh, how we can stop this from happening, how we can all become collectively more secure is a good debate. 
But importantly, uh, it's great that people at home now are starting to understand the, the challenge and starting to ask questions so they can keep themselves uh, secure. So I think we are getting better uh, despite some of the, the, the challenges that are currently uh, going on, but we have a way to go.